Hi, boys and girls. It's Father Norm. I'm not coming to you in my usual way, live, but where you see me right with me and we can talk and ask questions and all of that. So this is a little more limited, but it does give me a chance, especially I believe that I'm talking to the students from grades three, four, and five, uh, to be able to talk directly to you at your age about some issue uh, that uh, in our faith and in our daily life that hopefully you think, yeah, what Father's saying there uh, is something I needed to hear, or something that makes sense to me. I started to think back when I was actually in those grades, particularly grade the three. Uh, part of that I remember because at that time, the very first time ever, I got glasses. I couldn't see well. Now, you know, I had surgery where I can see without glasses. But in third grade, I had to wear these glasses and they were thick. And I was the first kid in my class to have to wear glasses. And I got to tell you, and I still remember this years later as an adult, that I was made fun of. That a lot of the students called me four eyes and you can't see and... Uh, and just put me down in different ways, too. Uh, and so I remember I felt awful. You know, I remember I didn't show it. I tried not to show it. It was just inside. I didn't want them to see, oh, they were getting to me. So I acted as though I wasn't bothered. But I was deeply bothered. I was hurt, you know, uh, putting me down like that, wearing glasses. And I remember being mad and even at God, God, why don't I have eyes that I don't have to wear glasses? Uh, uh, why do I have to wear them and be the first in my class, you know, and, but we all know probably your grades three, four, and five at times we can make fun of people and that's not right. And maybe we've been made fun of and we know how that hurts. And yet sometimes we can turn around and make fun of somebody else for some reason. I remember, uh, for me, another thing, even in grades three, three, four, five there, I wasn't real good at playing baseball. I was excellent in my studies and uh, did very well and, and loved school. But I remember, especially in baseball, I just wasn't that good. And again, made fun of that when I get up to the plate uh, and I was ready to try to hit the ball, that everybody on the other team would say, oh, heavy hitter, come in closer. He'll never do it. And, uh, and so there again. I acted as though I wasn't bothered, but I was, and uh, being put down. And, and in that situation, in both those situations, no one person from the class, nobody came and said, Norman, they called me Norman then, uh, gosh, uh, this was awful what they did to you. And uh, I, I, I just want you to know that, uh, that I thought that was wrong, and I'm sorry I didn't speak out. Nope, nobody did that. And so part of me felt alone and isolated and also feeling like that whole point, I can't let anybody else know that I was hurt, uh, that I was bothered, you know, and, and, and think about that for all of us. Uh, we talk a lot in school about bullying, about making fun of kids, about putting them down for any number of reasons, maybe because of how they do in school or sports or they're too short or too tall or too heavy or whatever, that we can do that and, and, re and not realize how much we're hurting people. Again, I think it's interesting when we get hurt, when it happens to us, and we probably feel the pain. So feeling the hurt and the pain all the more should help us to remember, and if somebody else is going through that, number one, uh, not to treat them that way because we know how bothersome and hurtful it is. And number two, if people are treating them that way, uh, don't join in. And, and do the same thing. And number three, maybe at that time or a later time, go up to them and say, gee, uh, this had to be difficult for you. I feel bad and I want you to know that. And, and sometimes in that moment, we need just one friend that cares. So again, in all of this, uh, we need to be on the lookout. And you know, I, I wanna share a passage here from the gospel. You know, Jesus was someone, too many people were bullied and made fun of but that's not what Jesus was all about. And this passage, you've probably heard it before. I'm going to be reading it here. It's from uh, Luke uh, chapter 18, and it's healing the blind beggar. Now, 
as Jesus approached Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging. And hearing a crowd going by, he inquired what was happening. They told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. He shouted, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. The people walking in front rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, son of David, have pity on me. Then Jesus stopped and ordered that he was brought to him. And when he came near, Jesus asked him, what do you want me to do for you? He replied, Lord, please help me to see. Jesus told him, have sight, your faith has saved you. He immediately received his sight and followed him, giving glory to God. When they saw all this, all the people gave praise to God. You know, just another example of Jesus reaching out to people. But this blind beggar, when he calls out to Jesus, the people around him put him down. They rebuke him. Be silent. Don't call out to this guy. Can you imagine? They probably thought they were doing Jesus a favor because, ah, he's not going to bother you. But here's a blind beggar looking for help and the people around him not being sensitive not reaching out, not saying, hey, Jesus, here's a guy who needs help, but putting him down and trying to silence him. But what does Jesus do? First of all, Jesus notices. He notices that this guy is blind and he's a beggar. In other words, he's got a disability and also he probably doesn't even have enough to eat. And so right away, rather than put this guy down, Jesus picks this guy up and notices him and says, your faith has saved you, you're healed, and, and restored to the community. And it's only then it says all the people praise, praise the situation. You know, oh yeah, Jesus, Jesus healed him. Wow, this is awesome. But that's certainly not how they felt about the blind beggar before all that happened. And I wonder if they had some guilt, you know, healthy guilt to see, you know what, here we are, we put him down, this Jesus that we admire and look up to, who was a, a healer, wow, he reached out to him. I hope a lot of those people from that incident, from on, there on in the rest of their life, anytime they saw somebody hurting, rather than putting them down, making fun of them, neglecting them, they would notice them, reach out. Maybe they wouldn't be a miracle healer like Jesus, but sometimes then and now, all that anybody else needs for healing is for uh, uh, somebody to reach out and pay attention. So again, thinking about all of this uh, and, and about the way we're to be in relationship with one another, I'm going to ask each of you, uh, third, fourth, or fifth grade, right in your years, however old you are in your classroom, what's it like for you? Are you in any way? feeling picked on or hurt and, 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 and maybe need to express that uh, uh, and at least let other people know, hey, don't you know how hurtful this is? Or if that's not something you're going through, if you see somebody else put down, made fun of for any reason, uh, wow, it would take the help of Jesus and the Spirit because uh, we can't do it on our own, saying, Lord, help me to speak out. Help me to say to the group, if a group is bully, bullying people, hey, that's wrong. Can't you see how hurtful that is? Stop doing it. Or, and again, if you can't say it to the whole group, maybe to individuals in the group, you can say, hey, you know, I, I felt bad when I saw that. And even if you were part of it and you think, how could I do that? Well, then later telling everybody in the group, yeah, I did feel bad about that. I wished I had never done that. That was wrong. We need to remember this is a Christian school. The number one influence in our lives should be Jesus and learning from not only his teachings, which were wonderful, but his main teaching was the example of his life. He went from place to place. He noticed people who were hurting, who were lost, who seemed lonely, and he went about and reached out. If each of us, you know, third, fourth, fifth grade, would start doing more of that, the reality is, Right now, in, in these grades that you are, you're also becoming little by little, one day the adults are going to be. 
and hopefully rather than a selfish, in, in, insensitive adult, and some people are that way, even they may go to church regularly, that you become a real caring, attentive, uh, uh, reaching out and helping people. And that's important too. It's not just a matter of feeling bad or thinking, oh, how terrible that was. Uh, Jesus calls us to turn feelings into action, into that action to reach out, to reach out to the hurting person, to reach out to other people who are doing the hurting and, and speak to them, not to hold back. And I know that's, that's hard to do and you may not always do it that well, but to start doing it and, and maybe even, and I'm sure you've probably done this in your class, have some conversation about bullying or about hurting people. Again, helping people, not hurting people. And right now, I know, you know, it's a difficult situation with this pandemic and all the adjustments we have to make. And with all of that, that's got to be difficult and got to be a struggle at times for every one of us. That's all the more a reason to look out for one another, to help one another, to be there for each other. We are in a Christian school, a Catholic school. It's about following Jesus Christ, and it's about being the love of Jesus for one another. So take a moment, maybe in your class, uh, after you've watched this, uh, you can think about it. You can think about, hey, when was I ever hurt and how did I feel? And, or you can think about, have I ever hurt somebody else or watched somebody get hurt? Uh, uh, how did I respond? Or uh, you could simply say, hey, how can I, how can we be better at being more caring of each other in our classrooms? What steps can we take and how can Jesus help us? So good things to think about, very important. Uh, this is a big issue, how we treat one another. And, and, and how we treat one another with understanding, with love, and even if somebody hurt us, with forgiveness. Take a moment and see, hey, in this, what did I need to hear? And maybe in your group, you'll get in a conversation with one another. God bless you and have a great day.